The most senior priest in the Diocese of Springfield is celebrating 70 years since his ordination. Last Saturday, nearly 70 years to the day, Father Vincent O'Connor entered St. Michael's Cathedral to celebrate Mass with his family and friends. Kathy Harrington reports. Well, I always wanted to be a priest, even as a kid. Yeah. But yeah, that was my hope. On a Saturday morning in January, Father Vincent O'Connor celebrated Mass, marking 70 years in the priesthood. This was Vincent O'Connor and his ordination class on that day in January 1948. I just have to say to you that I'm very happy to be a priest. I'm very amazed to be a priest. Uh, I don't know why I was called to be a priest, because it's something, you know, it's too beyond expression. As the oldest priest in the Diocese of Springfield, this is a rare milestone. On hand this day to celebrate with Father O'Connor were Bishops Mitchell Rosansky and Timothy McDonald, as well as fellow priests and deacons, and family, friends, former parishioners, and students. Father O'Connor reflected on his seven decades in the priesthood during his homily. If we kneel down at night and in our prayers included a prayer to the Lord and say, well, what did I do for you today? I, at the end of my tenure on this earth, I, my, my, my re response to you is thoughts are very, very simple. I remember Mother Teresa saying when she got the Nobel Prize, she said one thing, remember the poor. I was uh, born on the Feast of St. Vincent de Paul. I never expected to be so identified with them. With a little help, Father O'Connor offered Mass. Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood. Bishop Rosansky calls taking part in this 70th anniversary Mass an honor. When I attend anniversaries of priests, whether it be 25 years or 40 years or 50 years or 70 years, as in the case of Father Vince O'Connor, what always strikes me is that when they reflect upon their years of priesthood, uh, the priests are grateful, as Father Vince is, for his 70 years. The common bond, says Bishop Rosansky, is that they would do it over again because the life of a priest is truly a gift from God. Father O'Connor's family continued the celebration with a luncheon in his honor following the Mass. I'm Kathy Harrington for Real to Real. And Father O'Connor stood at the same altar in St. Michael's Cathedral, professing vows during his 1948 ordination. 